الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله constantly in surah al-fatiha we ask for guidance from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we seek isti'ana from him we seek his support his help his assistance and his favor that is the shan of the mu'min that is the affair of the believer because the believer knows that he or she can lose the path can lose his or her way can at one point be guided by Allah Azza wa Jal and then become misguided and lost and astray and that's why the believer supplicates as the supplication is in surah al-fatiha supplicating to Allah Azza wa Jal alone iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in it is you alone who we seek assistance. And it is you alone whom we depend. And that is the Anna seeking the support. An assistance of Eliza with Joe is what we have to do as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who else can support you and in, in, that you can seek refuge in? Can you find that support and favor from the dead? In fact, even from the living, we can't find that kind of support in every affair and full dependence and expressing our need we can't find that except from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's the only one who can deliver and that's why we say iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in and when we are supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bearing our all, humbling ourselves before Allah, uh, Allah imploring Him that this is one of the strongest ways that you can implore your, your Lord. Iyaka na'budu. It is you alone who we worship. That's the a powerful dua and expression of Tawheed. You're supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're affirming your own weakness. And you are expressing the fact that you need him. That we're weak and fragile creatures. We're in need of Allah Azza wa Jal. Wa iyaka nasta'in, and it's you alone whom we seek help. That is the isti'ana of ibadah. That is isti'ana. Acknowledging your weakness, seeking support from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all of your affairs. In a beautiful Dua of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which also acknowledges that this aspect of Tawheed and beseeching Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and glorifying Him and giving all of your affairs to Him when you implore Ya Hayyu Ya Qayyum O the ever living, the one whom all need, Al Qayyum. Everything needs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everyone and everything is dependent upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Ya Hayul Ya Qayyum Bi Rahmatika Astaghith By your mercy I depend and have hope because that is dua uh, dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by one of his divine sifat the sifat of rahmah the characteristic or the attribute of rahmah of mercy ya hayyul ya qayyum bi rahmatika astaghith by your mercy i seek your support you know in all my my difficulty through all my trials in life i seek your support aslah li shani kulli help me rectify all of my affairs all of your affairs you're imploring allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone had the tawheed al ibadah uluhiyah and you're begging him to help you in all of your affairs without going into specific dua meaning that everything every single struggle that you face an obstacle that you have difficulty in your life difficulty in your relationship difficulty in your rizq everything bi rahmatika astaghith aslah li shani kulli rectify all of my affairs subhanallah all of that is tawhid al ibada bi rahmatika astaghith aslah li shani kulli rectify all of my affairs wala takilni ila nafsi tarfat al ain and do not leave me in charge of my own affairs even for the blink of an eye Ahabat fi Allah there is no greater expression of tawhid except what is mentioned by the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam Prophetic dua is all based upon tawhid 100% because the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam didn't pray to anything or anyone except Allah azza wa jal and he didn't seek the assistance and the affairs in totality and that which had to do with anything that had to do with ubudiyah exists from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have a tawhid al ibada This is the tawhid the monotheism of directing one's worship all of it completely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty to bless us protect us preserve us guide us rectify all of our affairs wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم